Hey guys, what's going on? Just wanted to come back at you with another cool video. So we upgraded our alarm system here the other day. Uh, had an alarm for about six or seven years and it was time to upgrade the equipment. And uh, been looking around different companies, ADT and such, and their out-of-pocket cost was just not comparable with uh, upgrading for their system, their, their basic stuff. So we decided to stay with the same company and, and, and just in turn getting a couple more years on a contract with them. They decided to go ahead and give us a bunch of new upgrades, uh, home automation, such things. So here's a little video of uh, what it is and what it looks like. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and we'll switch the camera over and I'll show you what we got. First thing is we got a brand new panel. As you can see, it's in sleep mode. It's got a nice little screen here. It looks like a tablet. Um, but in sleep mode, it's got these pictures that kind of go through. Um, so that you, it doesn't even really look like an alarm panel at all. But if you go ahead and press on it there's your alarm system so it's showing that it's it is uh, disarmed right now but some of the cool features this is the new uh, Qualsys IQ2 panel um, it's very similar to the 2 gig and the um, IQ1 panel but this is the newest and latest panels out there for alarms that uh, deal with home automation and things like that and so this is the, the Qualsys IQ2 so it's kind of got everything here at your fingertips. So if you scroll over from the arm and disarm panel, you can see any of your lights that are in your home automation. You can turn them on, turn them off. Uh, so it's pretty cool. You can scroll over. It tells you if your front door is locked or unlocked. We also did get the keyed or keyless entry so that your kids and stuff can come through. Uh, without having to use a key so but this alarm system here shows you that the front door is locked or unlocked and if you hit lock all it front door locked. has now the front door is locked so you can scroll over there's your thermostat we also did get a smart thermostat and i'll show you that here in a minute tells you what the thermostat is at uh, the temperature your fan um, so you can control all that through the panel, through the app, or through the um, the actual website. And I also got a garage door um, sensor. So what happens is if my garage door is opened or closed, um, I can shut it or open it through the app or the, um, the website or through the panel. And if it stays open, you know, I uh, set a rule if it stays open for a certain amount of time, um, it'll send me a text message saying the garage door is open. So so much for driving down the road you get halfway to where you're going and you think you know did i shut the garage door well now you don't have to worry about it so now you can close it right now it's showing that it's closed um scroll over this panel also does take pictures um it's got a camera right there so it will take a picture of the person disarming the alarm uh, so you can see and it will also send you a text and a uh, push notification with the picture on there so you can see who disarmed the alarm at what time it was disarmed, who disarmed it, um, and the date. So that's pretty cool. You can scroll over. There's your Wi-Fi connection, your system software data, and then you're back to here. And if you go down, you have all your settings for what you want to do, your user settings and such. Um, it also has your panic buttons. So if you wanted to do panic, you can do all that. So you can scroll out of that. You can go ahead and arm it. Select arm system type. Uh, you can arm, arm stay. And you can set yourself. Quick exit selected. So you can arm it and get out of the house whenever you want. I'm going to go ahead and disarm this here. New messages received arm. from guardian underscore protection underscore. So underscore that's the panel itself. And DSM we've kind of showed net. you the door lock already. It's just one of your standard quick set keyless entry door locks. Um, and it does tell you every time that you do a function. New messages it tells you that the front door is locked or unlocked. Underscore, do underscore, not so let me show you a little bit about how the... Um, Oh, where'd it go? 
Okay, sorry about that. Got the website back up. So here's the website, and it's it's powered through a company called Alarm.com. They're the ones that kind of forefront the whole automation system and how you use your alarm. But this is the home page. I've already logged in. So you just would go to Alarm.com for if this is who you use for your, um, if this is what your security company uses for their their servers, you would go ahead and this is the login using the login name and password that is given to you but this kind of tells you you know the events for that specific day of, of how many times it gives you your system status um, these are scenes you can go ahead and click on that and it'll run your home scene or turn it off your away scene so these are all perimeters that you set up through the app or through the website. So if you go, you got your home screen where we're at now, uh, your automation. So this is where you would set up uh, your rules for what you want specific things to do. Um, if you go back to the home screen, um, it goes down, it gives you your status, if you're, what your panel is at, the recent activity. Um, or what my garage door is currently closed, what my thermostat is at, um, that my lights and my home automation are turned off, and that my front door is locked. Um, and then you have your panel camera snapshot of the last time it was disarmed. So if we come back here, you can go to your notifications. And this gives you what you want to be notified about certain events. And you can set up the rules of who gets the event notification what for whatever specific panel or sensor that you want. Um, specific activity, um, your users, and then your settings. So it's a pretty cool system. Um, like I said, it works with Alexa, so I can tell Alexa to turn my thermostat to a certain degree and it will turn it on and do that. So that's pretty cool if I'm sitting on the couch and it's hot and I can just say, hey, Alexa, turn on my thermostat to 73 and it will go ahead and turn it on for me. Or turn on my front living room light or my family room light and it will do that for me. So it's a pretty cool system. Let me go ahead and show you what the actual thermostat looks like. So here's the thermostat. It's a smart thermostat. It's very basic. It's got one up, one down, and your mode button in the middle to, to change the temperature and what mode you're in. Currently, the room temperature is 73, and we're on cool. It's currently 74 in the house, so the air is actually turned off. But this is a ADC T2000 um, smart thermostat. Uh, I mean, a lot of people have the Nest, which is a good system as well, but this seems to do the exact same thing for way half the price. So that's uh, our new home automation system slash alarm system. Um, so far, we're still trying to learn exactly how everything works, but it seems to be pretty decent. Um, if you have any questions, you can uh, direct message me or send me a, a, a message on the message list and I can answer any questions that you have. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, let me know. I can give you more information about it. And there's plenty of videos on how this whole system works, but I wanted to show you my specific one. So I hope you liked the video. If you did click like, hit subscribe. Um, we'll get back to you with more videos later on. See ya.